Hey everyone, Randy from ESG. Today we're going over the Quixel Bridge platform, which is made by Epic Games, which has a boatload of completely free materials, assets, and the metahumans. Uh, now before we get started, I just want to first apologize for the lack of content, but uh, let's dive right into this. So if you open up Unreal Engine 5.0 or later, Quixel Bridge is actually integrated into the Unreal Engine itself. If you're on the 4.0 version, uh, it's on a different separate platform in window that you have to open up separately, but we're dealing with 5.0. So there's two ways to open it up already. So I already have an open up here, but I'll show you two ways to open it up. So if you go to the uh, quickly add to the project little button up here, you can see Quixel Bridge and you can click it and it'll open it up. Or you can go up to window and go down to Quixel Bridge and click it. So now you can see in here, the Quixel Bridge plugin or platform. So you go in here and search for any of the assets or materials that you want. Uh, there's de tons of different um, types of surfaces, plants, assets. You go to the actual collections themselves, which contains uh, all of them that are organized. So we have fabrics, concrete, roadside construction, jungles, bones, all kinds of stuff. And they're always adding new things to this, which is honestly so cool. Um, and then we have the metahumans as well, which is the metahumans, which you can just download any of them and edit them to the way you desire. Uh, and then there's the favorites, which are just things that you can like and click on and just heart. And so you have them to store. Uh, and then there's local, which all this is, is just what is actually downloaded from Quixel Bridge. So how this works is you're viewing them from a three from a like library database and you have to actually download them onto your system so the local here shows you what's already downloaded and it's not uh engine version dependent so we have these here which i download in a different version but i can still use them in any version that i want so let's get started with how to actually download something here so if we go down uh, i'm just going to use these these bricks here as an example so uh, when you go and click on this, in the bottom right-hand corner, if you don't see downloaded or add, what you'll see is a sign-in. So you do need to sign in with your Epic account. Um, so for this one already here, I have actually already downloaded it, and it doesn't notify you, but I already did add it. So let's go to uh, this guy. They're both downloaded. Let's go ahead and go to this guy instead. So down here, we can see tags for it, so if we're searching for it, uh, related assets, which are usually assets within its same uh, collection. And then this is the actual quality that you can get for it. So if we click on it, we can get low quality, medium quality, high quality, and the nanite version. Um, I'm just going to use the high quality for today. But then there's also a little option over here to uh, see some settings for it as well, if you need those. Um, so what you're going to do once you're signed in is just click download. It'll start downloading. It'll give you a little percent. Uh, and once it's done downloading, this little add button will turn blue, which means you can add it. Um, so if we see here, we can see add. And I've actually already added it. But what is it, what's it going to do is it's going to add a new folder called Megascans and 3D assets if it's an asset and 3D materials if it's a material. Uh, and then it's going to throw the name, and it's going to give you a static mesh, the material, and the three textures associated with it. So for this one that I just downloaded, I downloaded the high-quality version. And again, we can go to local and see it is downloaded. Go back. And so again, oh, here we go. Again, again, oh, I could also like it too if I want. Uh, I can go back, add it, and you can see it just created a new folder under 3D Assets. Um, so if I want to actually add it into the game here, uh, all I have to do is go to my content browser, go to where it is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab the new one. And you just click, click and drag, and boom, there it is. And we can kind of get close to it. We can see it is a static mesh, uh, and the, the actual textures of it look very, very good. Um, now, of course, if you down, uh, download the Nanite, that's probably going to be the best looking one. Uh, and so let's just say what happens if we, uh, if we uh, scale it up. So let's just scale it up and see what kind of looks like. So now, inherently, when you scale things, the textures usually look kind of worse. But we can kind of see here, the textures 
do look worse to a degree, but not as bad as you expect. So let's see how much I actually. So I multiplied the scale by 21.25, which is a ginormous amount to scale an object with textures on it. And you can see it still doesn't look that bad. So if we scale it back down, it do, it will look better uh, to back it to its normal state. Uh, and it looks pretty good. And you can duplicate it like any other object, move it around, um, you know, create a brick wall or whatever you want to do. Uh, and these are, com like I said, completely free, super, super easy to use. Uh, they're just like regular static meshes. And you can look at the material itself and see that it is just normally linked. Um, well, it doesn't actually show the graph for it, but it shows you um, the parameters for everything. And you can edit these yourself if you actually want. Uh, and so if you open up the texture, you can see the textures. And again, you can edit these to how you desire if you want to, which is honestly so cool. Um, but yeah, that is the Quixel Bridge plugin. Super, super helpful. My, my biggest recommendation, honestly, is before you go and search for an asset or a material online or try to make one, go into Quixel Bridge first. Make sure it's not in there or something similar that can't be tweaked easily. So for instance, we have we have these um, we have these materials here which I have altered to make look like a moon material, even though they're not for a moon material, but I can easily alter them. So just make sure to always look in Quixel Bridge first before you go to something else because they're completely free to use. You can use them in publishing. Uh, they're just really high quality assets made by Epic and they add stuff to them all the time. I mean, you can even see here, these were added just in January and they are so good looking. But yeah, I hope that was super helpful. Um, let me know what you guys would like to see. I'd uh, love any feedback, but uh, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.